Good morning, everyone. Happy time zone. How we doing? <clears throat> Thunder Viking with the 55 months of sub and Patachan with the 14 months of sub. I hope y'all are doing awesome this morning. Thank y'all so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <clears throat> Let me get this out of the way real quick. I don't know how long we'll go today. Allergies are crushing me. So cough drop in, coughs. We'll see how long I can talk. You can tell in my eyes I'm just, I'm, I'm smoked right now. But we're good. From Corolla, 14 months of subbing. Let's go. Hope you enjoyed Corolla's friend of the show episode in your Panatic members podcast feed. Thank you. Thank you so much. Brooks, how was the Baltimore show? Anyone that went to Baltimore, how was the show? Liber, got the chaos package last week. Let us know. I'm super interested. Hit us up. Ms. Banani, 11 months of subbing. Let's go. Good morning. Good morning. How are y'all? We got, surprisingly, several things to talk about this morning, which is good, which is good stuffs. <clears throat> so yeah, let's uh, let's let everyone get in. I'm, I'm curious about uh, Libra Stet's uh, Chaos Package. I'm curious about the Baltimore Pin Show, if y'all have feedback on that. Uh, London Pin Show seemed to be pretty cool. London Spring Show seemed to be pretty great. Um as well. Uh, I'm not sure if Mike made it or not. I'll, I'll have to text him to see if we're going to talk about that tomorrow. Show is really good. Lots of new vendors and lots of new first time showgoers. Interesting. Like we are, we are continuing on with the, uh, all the new, new attendees, which I, I just love to see. I just love to see. So it looked like a good time. And again, like I saw a bunch of the London stuff too. And it's like, ah, that looked really good. Good morning. McPen enthusiast, Lady Tamir. <clears throat> Damn you and Mike bought some more pilot inks. It, it's hey, don't worry, Slumberland Studio. It's gonna cost me two. I have to get the uh, the brown one um, in there. LA had a ton of first time showgoers. Yeah, it's really interesting. Really interesting to see. Uh, good morning, Tuli and Tess. Love y'all's faces. <clears throat> Hope we're doing super well. <clears throat> Which brown one? Uh, it's the Wild Horse Chestnut Brown. I forget the actual name of it. It's it's the one kind of brown ink, the one kind of common brown ink that I haven't tested. Hey Connor, good afternoon to you. Hope you're doing well. Mm. L.A. Pen Show was a good time. Nice. It seems, man, between L.A. and Baltimore, it seemed like they were like back to back weekends. Even though it was like for Brooks, it was only like probably like not even 10 days at home. Maybe. Maybe not. It's good stuff. Crazy stuff. Ruben, six months of subbing. It's been a little bit. Please, please recap, recap the past month in detail. Okay, I'll get right on that. Um, pins were used. The end. There you go. Doing inventory this morning to see what I need to make, right? <laughs> Sukushi. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I'll, I'll, let's see if I can pull it up here real quick. <clears throat> Hello, JD lady. Hello, friendos. Yamaguri. Is that what I want? Power Belly! With the five gifted subs. That's so cool. Thank you, Power Belly. Enjoy your gifted subs. Biblio Catnids, Dabba Raccoon, Thawing Owl. All the animals this morning. Tortu, Tortalar, and Jersey Girl, Andrea. Love it. Love it, love it. London was way better than the last time I was able to go pre-COVID. Nice. How's the tooth going? My, my tooth is groovy. Easy peasy. Pins were used and paper was written on monthly review. Facts. Big facts. Love it. Flying raccoon. Look, you have a raccoon emoji. Emote. Morning Major Bedlam. <clears throat> let's see here what ink am i talking about yamaguri okay yeah y'all had it i just couldn't remember the name so yamaguri this one i just want to try it so i like i like brown inks <clears throat> regless con thank you for the follow appreciate you being here hope i pronounced that somewhat close So yeah, that's 
That's probably one of my next ink purchases. I, as a matter of fact, I need to write that down because I went and bought some of the, the Teranishi guitars, uh, Teranishi guitar inks that I wanted. And then I forgot to get the one I really wanted, which is the Ainzu. I believe it's what it's called. That's kind of the blue black. I do like brown inks. Did you get a bottle of Quartier Latine from Bung Box? I did not. Do we have a link to that? I'm not even familiar with that. Was that, I think I got an email from them. Was that the recent one? So we need uh, a Roshizuku Yamaguri. Gotcha. It's their story. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, yes, I did hear about this. I did not get it, but I need to look at this. Oh, I did see this. Golly, look at that pen. <sighs> Again, apologies if you're just joining. I'm having like a full on allergy attack. I've taken medicine, I'm drinking water, I have a cough drop in. It's still gonna be a challenge for me today. So we'll just go and we'll just go until we don't anymore. Yeah, that's super pretty. Man, the people on YouTube that hate my sniffles, they're gonna have a field day today. <laughs> you can tell I care a lot. That's super pretty. I, yeah. Oh, that's a very zoomied picture. Let's zoomy this one. Man, ultras, ultra zoom. <clears throat> Ultra Zoom. Hi, I'm new here. Hey, Strings and Pedals. Hey, any F1 news to report? It's been pretty quiet. I admit I'm not super excited about that pin, but if I were rich, I'd buy it anyway because of the name. Yeah, like this is not a pin for me whatsoever, but I do like it. The new smaller ball ballroom in Baltimore could have used some signage or something a lot of people know was there. Uh, Sumeter had a horrible location Friday that hurt their sales. Got to move Saturday and made all the difference. Interesting. Interesting. I almost ordered for the Moose Nib alone. Ooh, do they have a... I wish there was a Pro Gear instead of a Standard. I do prefer... While I like the 1911 shapes... Um, <clears throat> let's see. There is a Moose Nib. Oh my God, there's a Moose Nib. I do prefer the Rialo with the, with the flat ends. That's the one that I have, has flat ends. Seb for FIA president, probably. <clears throat> F1 is on fire, fire on fire on fire. I wrote that down today. Uh, Brad, how is Diatrimendus Document Brown working for, me, for you? Um, it's working really well from the pen. I don't love the color. Uh, it's just from a brown ink perspective, it's too light for my preferences. But as a writing ink, it's been awesome. So I do like that. Why is there a moose on it instead of a beetle? I mean, there's, I, I mean, I get what you're saying, but there's probably like a lawsuit in there somewhere. I'd buy it if it was an elk nib versus the moose nib. That's an interesting, um, that's an interesting uh, comment. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's a thing. <clears throat> so do they have the... Do they have the store ink that Pat Chain was talking about here? Easily accessible. Let's see. Mm, I don't know. Choose square bottle ink. <clears throat> oh, dang. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty fresh. Not that one. That one. I want this one, though. Can I have this one? <laughs> I want this one. 
Are these different? I want both of these. Is it this one? I want this one too. Dang. Step your game up, Patachan. No, I'm just kidding. I, I remember seeing it and I forgot about it. Um, I probably... <sighs> We're going to write this down. Uh, but those are two colors that are right up my alley. That makes me want to go ink up um, Rebirth, the Papier Plume Rebirth. So I probably need to get a Bungu Box order in at some point. So, very cool. Not that. That's good looking. All right. <clears throat> While we're talking about inks, uh, I am giving away this week on the blog the Jacques Herbant Fuchsia. Do you know how hard Fuchsia is to spell? I didn't realize how hard Fuchsia is to spell until I wrote this up. So this is the uh, giveaway on the blog today or for this week. So this is their most recent uh, Shimmer Ink release from this last summer or fall. Um, yeah, really hard to spell fuchsia. That's actually a pretty good ink name. Hard to spell fuchsia. F and fuchsia. Mm -hmm. That would look great in a yellow pen. Yeah. Let the auto corrupt spell it. <laughs> okay. Fuchsia. Fuchsia. <clears throat> so we're doing that. I also, on the blog, reviewed the um, the Flotune, which I just think of Progressive here in the United States, Progressive Insurance, every time I say that, see this pen, uh, like flow from Progressive. I don't know why this is a thing. Um, this is a really cool ink color. This is almost like a very Conpecky-ish blue, which is funny to see from a Rollerball ink pen. So this does really well on standard papers. I tested this later yesterday when I was messing around with it, like well after the review, and I don't know why I didn't think about it beforehand. But like I tried it on Tomoe River paper, it would not dry. Like it took forever. It was a mess. Like blotter paper extraordinaire. So <clears throat> yeah, I think it looks good, feels good, works well. Um, I mean, it's a good pen. If you want a wide you need a wide tip rollerball um it's not bad like i had no i had no problem i had no problem with it and I, the color was really nice yeah i wouldn't but on a coated paper since it's an oil-based ink i think that's probably one of the reasons so this is in this is a your traditional rollerball style but they changed up the ink formulation for smoothness and like um, skip freeness, all of that works. Um, but dry time on a non-absorbent page is pretty tough. So, otherwise, I thought it was pretty good. The pencils arrived in Antarctica. Guess what? That's next on the list. Also, this is a point eight millimeter. That's the finest. <clears throat> Yeah, Junio, that caught me off guard. Like, I was sitting there trying to twist apart the pen. Like, before I read the specs, you know, I'm going through, like, trying to decipher the pen, figure it all out. I'm twisting. I was like, this does not come apart. I went and looked on the page. I was like, is there a, is there a, a refill we can get for this? And then I see 62% recycled materials. I was like, but you can't refill it. I was like, it's like, what are we even doing here? Yeah, 0.8 millimeter is the finest, and I, this is this 0.8 writes about like a 1.0. Um, I would like to see this finer. <clears throat> I don't know if we ever will. It's gonna have to succeed in the so it has 0.8 and 1.0 in red, black, and blue. Like they're fine. How do you rate it versus the Vision Elite? I like the Vision Elite way better because the ink is just drier, but not in a too dry way. Vision Elite still like my like top tier rollerball. Vision Elite, Pilot Precise V5, V7s. Those are good. All right. Let's go to Antarctica. 
We made it. To me, this review is what makes the Panatic Block so great. Oh, thank you, Power Belly. This is the, that's actually my wheelhouse. That's like those are like my favorite things to review. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, like it's important to me to discuss those types of products. Like that's my wheelhouse. That's why I send a lot of the fountain pens off to the team to review or fountain pen inks. Even though I love my fountain pens, love my fountain pen inks. <clears throat> All right, spoke pencil in Antarctica. Shout out Glyph. Glyph made this happen. I didn't want to put his name in the uh, in the Instagram. I didn't want him to get uh, <clears throat> get doxed, but uh, Glyph helped me do this. So shout out Glyph. Huge shout out. Um, so we made. So the key, as you can imagine, looking at the gloves. Yeah, McMurdo. <clears throat> as you can imagine, looking at the gloves, they need a wide pencil wide leads right like so like the biggest we could do without doing like a clutch pencil uh, which we haven't designed yet yeah they he actually really liked it uh, which i was worried about because the biggest we could do is 0.9 millimeters so we got we had some um uh, nine millimeter um 0.9 millimeter um mechanisms still lilium 15 minutes of sub and let's go <clears throat> And then we did the Spoke Model 4, which we have the Super Groove grip for, right? So if you're, do I have mine in here? I don't have mine in here. So the Super Groove grip is our widest, grippiest grip. It's like a 10 millimeter. God, it might be wider than that. I'll have to look at the specs. We can pull that up in a second. <clears throat> um, so it's got the most grippy grip that we had, the widest um mechanism that we had and then we uh we etched their um their research team's um initials on there uh and um and yeah then we got the picture last week i had to get permission to share this i just wanted to make sure i could share this so they did allow me to share this uh image which i was pretty stoked about <clears throat> so because it's a cool picture like that's just a sweet picture right yeah this is pretty fun pretty fun so we did it. Success. We got stationary to Antarctica. That was that was the goal. And uh, we did it. So thank you, Glyph. I'll, if Glyph isn't here today, uh, I'll make sure to give him a shout out. But uh, I've been talking to him uh, offline here. So it's been good. It was a really fun project. So I shipped these, I want to say in October, September or October. I shipped these in September, October. Um, and like as of December, like the tracking hadn't finished um, so maybe they showed up in January. I'll have to check. I'll have to go back and look at the checking. I just got the email one day. It's like, they made it. And then sent me the picture. So this was super fun to be a part of. Um, getting done. <clears throat> sent me an email on the chaos win. Okay. Oh, and Liber, are you here? Did you did you mention your chaos stuff? Sergeant Story 21, what's us up? And let's go. Let's go. Okay, I missed it. What did, did what did you get? I, I apologize. Somehow I didn't see that. I hate for you to have to type it again. Let me see if I can find it. <clears throat> How did I miss that? The one thing I've never figured out here, I'm so sorry, Liber. The one thing I've I've uh, never figured out with my Twitch backend setup is chat history. I mean, there's got to be like a very simple way for me <clears throat> on the admin side to see this, but let's see. Oh, I think I got it. My chaos package ended up being a national parks, field notes, and a bunch of nice drawing pens. Sweet. That's awesome. Okay, I found the... Uh, <laughs> I found the chat thing. <clears throat> Very cool. Very cool. Thank you for doing that. Love it. And then Guinness, you sent me an email. Let me, uh, can I see what you, can I, can I share what you got, uh, Guinness? Let's see here. Got it. All right, Guinness, I got you right here. <laughs> these are sick. I love these. I have never seen these before. So there's a bunch of uh, zebra mild liners. And there's these, the Stabilo Boss highlighters. Check out, they're like mini, like the Stabilo Boss is like this classic, um, 
classic highlighter shape, but these are like mini ones. These are like half the size of the um, of the regular ones. I've never seen those before, and they have cool like logos on the cool. Was it like animals on there? I can't totally tell. That's sick. I love those. <clears throat> That's really cool. <clears throat> <clears throat> very cool love it love it hello dragon drawer okay uh where are we at here stabilo is that the new f1 team i feel like gunther should be saying stabilo right <clears throat> I did finish Drive to Survive this weekend. It was fine. It was good. It's always good. <clears throat> it's always, you know, entertaining for watching once and yeah, good. All right. So, <clears throat> hype for another GP this weekend? Yeah. There was too much Alpine in it, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Well, but it was good. It was good timing leading into the first race uh, into testing practice qualifying and race one this year because they suck so hard <laughs> it was it was kind of it's like ah that worked out but like the timing worked out but yes i don't need two episodes of otmar and the dingling team <clears throat> good morning all my cat does not trust me anymore due to an attempt to go to the vet so toby is at the spa right now. Big spa day for Toby. So uh, maybe tomorrow y'all yeah, will see the the post spa day, uh, Tobo. The, uh, the Iroshizuku draft was interesting. I think my first pick might be Yuyake. Yeah, that would not be a wrong pick. I love James Vowles though. Uh, agreed. I will sign that. <clears throat> I will sign that. Yet yeah, Toby, right? Toby's got it made. That dog. All right, since I don't know how long I'm going to be able to like physically stream today, um, I have a small uh, order from Enigma that I placed finally. Like this, this has been like, I've been struck slow getting this one in. <laughs> Imagining him with cucumber slices on his eyes. He could do that. I hope Christian Horner never texts me ever. That is facts. Big facts. Um... I'm going to open this box. Golly. Apologies. <clears throat> I want to open this box. See what I got? Um, I finally ordered my desk mat that I want from them, even though I don't think I can use that on stream because it's you'll see when I open it. Um, and then I think I got just got some other like stickers and stuff like that. So like I didn't get too much. So let's see what we got here. <clears throat> I can't remember. They did have like the uh, like the questionable sushi type of stickers. I can't remember if I ordered some or not. I think I ordered some washi. <clears throat> but it's mostly it's a bigger box because it has um, my desk mat. Megalinity, let's go, let's go. So proud of you, Megalinity. I know it's been tough. I know it's been tough sledding. <clears throat> so uh, I'm glad. That's awesome. Woot! Start March 19th. Let's go. Let's go. <sighs> nice. So, uh, Dan, Michelle, and Penn sent me a nice note. Thank you for your order. We greatly appreciate your support of our small family business. We added a few extra goodies we hope you enjoy, like our favorite label maker. Ooh. <laughs> We're excited for you, Megalyn Lee. Oh, that's super awesome. Extra goodies, right? All right, let's do... Let's do this first. Because this, this is what I wanted. Um, this was the impetus for my order. And I don't think it's going to work for here, but I have another desk that can use it. I don't know if y'all remember this. Um, a while back, 
Yeah, like this this desk mat is hard to beat for stream. I don't think this one would be as visually appealing uh, on stream. It would kind of blow it out, maybe. I don't know, it might work, chat. It might work, we'll see. We'll see. Oh, here's my Oroshizuku draft list. That's, that's, I mean, that's... But it looks like um, around the same size as this existing one. Yeah, I don't think this one would work. <laughs> but it's sick. This was an instant buy when Mike talked about it on the podcast, right? I've been wanting one that would hide small link things. Yeah, this was an instant buy for me. I just couldn't, I just uh, kept forgetting to do it. So let's see. <clears throat> let's do a full cover here. See what it looks like. See if it breaks y'all's heads. I think it's actually breaking the camera. Um, you see the waves. Like I can see it like waving in the, like there's no way we could do this. <laughs> it's it's so cool. Six ten. I'm on acid. That's a five out of six, right? Yeah, the colors actually work. I just think the cameras don't. Uh, <laughs> I think the camera doesn't like it at all. <laughs> so I bought this knowing that it wouldn't be the stream mat. Wow. <laughs> okay, back to crabs. <laughs> uh, hey, warthog. <sighs> <laughs> so um here here you gotta you gotta close your eyes if you uh if you don't want to see it again i'm gonna show you the full size version this is from enigma stationary all right i'm just gonna show you the full size version of it so it's big <laughs> all hail the hypnomat that's a good name for it the hypnomat it just needs like one single toad on there It's really cool. I really like this. So yeah, whoever said it earlier, it's like I have more uh, desk mats than I do keyboard. So maybe I need to get a keyboard. <clears throat> Enigma Stationery. Um, there's the link. Miss G's Crafty posted it. Um, this isn't an ad, isn't an ad or a sponsor, but if you are interested, I think on the Pen Attic podcast um, we have a code for like some discounted shipping or stuff like that. So. Go check out the um, the last episode of the Pen Addict uh, podcast, and you'll see a link in there. I think with the code. So, <clears throat> all right, but that's cool. I like that one. Um, I'll have to figure out where I'm gonna put it. I like it. Then I was again also the kid that could scratch nails on a chalkboard. Now that I can't dig. <clears throat> all right, apologies again. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop apologizing about how I feel, but I do I need another cough drop. My voice is not gonna last. Enigma has very cute hedgehog pins approved. I definitely got some pins in here. P-I-N pins. Not P-E-N pins. Oh, cool. This is my gift. This is what they sent me for free. Let's do that last. Let's see the other. Oh. <clears throat> How dare you not feel amazing, right? I don't get sick like sick sick that much but i get like allergy stuff a lot okay and this is one of the worst ones i've had in a while i've been wanting the um i've been wanting this pen for a while this is like one of the coolest pens on there on the site each pen sold equals five dollars to the trevor project it's amazing I had that pin, got it from San Fran last year. I must have missed it at their table. I wonder if they, they maybe didn't have it two years ago since I didn't go last year. So I love this pin. I'll put that on my pin show bag. So I have a few of the other pins on my pin show bag. And uh, I've just been dying to get this one. It's really cool. And it's a stub nib, right? <laughs> I didn't even think about that, but it is a stub nib. So it's just super, I don't know, it's super cool. Represent, right? Love it. Um... Then we got some washi. Uh, ghost plant parent wash tape. I just went through and like picked some neat uh, looking ones. Like I don't know. Is this ghost like a character? 
but I don't know. It's a ghost and he's got plants or they have plants. So there's cactuses and all kinds of stuff. This is pretty sick. This is Enigma Stationery. I'm gonna get sick in a day or two, too much pen traveling. How was London, strings and pedals? And then this one we have, oh my gosh, Ninja Cats and Dogs. <clears throat> I don't know if you realize quite how safe you make me feel with all the transphobia going wild. It's rub out here. Hey, I love you, Megalinity. Like, I'm here for you, always. And I'm here for Ninja Cats and Dogs. How cute is that? I'm getting the. I'm really enjoying looking at these. I don't know why. Um, and then we have. They must have said. I don't think I ordered this one. I think they must have added this one in. Um, some really sweet fountain pen nib ones. How cool is that? <clears throat> And then, oh, another one. Dang. These are cool. Yeah, I think they, they think these added in uh added them in. Excuse me. Added them into my order. What's up, Mikey? Mike, how was Baltimore? So, there's that. Sorry, just making sure there's no hidden stuff in in the box here. <clears throat> B-Whip's always great. Yeah, super fun nib. Which do you prefer, gold or silver nibs on washi? Or are we asking like a more specific question, knowing you like I know you? I mean, this one's pretty clear. I mean, this is like not quite Tiffany color silvers. You know I'll always go for that. They have washi of various pride flags. Yep, they've had those since launch. <clears throat> And they have the uh, tote bag. They have the Pride Pin logo on a tote bag as well, which is very cool. I just didn't need a tote bag. I needed this pin, though. <clears throat> All right. Let's see what's in here. And the blanks. Yeah. So... I really wasn't dialed in with their blanks, right? But they kind of started with the blanks, I believe. Like, well, that was kind of some of the first stuff. Uh, watch back the live stream last night. Always appreciate the support. <clears throat> Mike rules. Mike's. Uh, if y'all, do you have a uh, do you have a link, Mike? Real quick for people that aren't familiar, um, to like the lives to like your YouTube channel. <clears throat> So, um, yeah, this is an Enigma blank in my Skogsy pen. So, very cool. Very cool stuff. Ah, ah. Let's see what else we got. Thank you, Mike. So, if you're not familiar, Mike um, has a YouTube channel and... He did a walkthrough at the Baltimore Pen Show. So if you've never been to a pen show, Mike's um, walkthroughs are really cool to see like what a pen show's like, what you can see there, things like that. So definitely go check that out. No worries, Mike. Oh, I did buy some questionable sushis. Pen's desk. So Pen sent me some sent me some stickers. These are dope. I like Winky Boba. Where's Toasty? We got an eggplant. Where's Toasty when we need him? <clears throat> Laughing sushi. Ooh, angry turnip. Why is the waffle angry though? Why is the waffle angry? Alright, so I ordered these stickers um because of my london trip someone took a bite out of them i'd be angry too fair connor fair yeah i think you're right 
Good call. Good call. Hey, at least the eggplant's smiling. So I saw these. Um, I got these for my London trip. <clears throat> Just because, you know, London uh, stickers are cool. So I thought this would be fun to use um, going forward. Oh, look, fish and chips. I will have fish and chips. <laughs> Settle down, Celtic. <laughs> so these are the little, um, I don't know if these types of type of stickers have a name. Like they're like the little transparent base stickers. <clears throat> yeah, what is that eggplant doing? And these are like a perfect size, right? Look at these. It's really cool. They're flakes. Is that is that the term for them? So these are pretty cool. Gotcha. Yeah, I have. I figured there was a term, some terminology for that, but I didn't know what it was. Flake stickers. Interesting. I have never heard that term before. All right, fish and chips. <clears throat> London PET as well. Yeah, you'll share a loop if you fancy. Of course. We got to figure out, I got to figure out if we're going to do like an official meetup. I mean, we're definitely going to do like a, a couple of stationary shops, but I'm wondering if we can do like an official like meetup thing at Choosing Keeping. So I, I have to work on that. I have not started working on that yet, but there you go. I'll bring my, uh, I call them fingernail splitters. I could see that. <clears throat> um, so the, um, I bought another series of questionable ninjas. Um, I like how the throwing stars are like Louis Vuitton. <laughs> it's like a Louis Vuitton pattern. Uh, throwing stars. I'm kind of into this. <laughs> I was on a ninja kick. It just happened. I mean, wouldn't you be on a ninja kick too? If these were your choices? If these were your choices, wouldn't you too be on a ninja kick? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I might have to keep the Louis Vuitton throwing stars for me. <laughs> I don't know why that's cracking me up. It shouldn't. All right, so this one's behind a cloud. This one's jumping over a wall. Louis Vuitton <laughs> coming around the corner. Bow and arrow getting ready to cut you. Throwing stars and Louis Vuitton. It's the Tiffany Sharpie of 2024. I'd be in on that. And then we have the Pilot Juice Up. Ooh. Okay, so... um Enigma threw these in for me. I have not tried, chat, 0.3 millimeter. I don't think I have a juice up in 0.3. I have the 0.4s. I gotta show you this sticker now because I'll be removing it more momentarily. It's not gonna focus at all, but I trust that you can see 0.3. <clears throat> so yeah, I don't think I've tried a 0.3 juice up before. So let's get this sticker off. Yeah, this sticker ain't hanging around. Although I guess I have a broken thumbnail, so it's not really working for me right now. <clears throat> and then we have, this is different. What's the deal here? So this is a friction. Point four friction point knock. Huh, I have never seen this before. It's a needle point friction. And the, I'm looking at it uh, strangely because I have the, uh, the ball knock and the nose cone is plastic, or it's at least different. I think this is plastic, just like chrome-plated plastic. The racer's a little bit different, but it is so similar looking. I have never tried the needle version of these, so neither one of these have I tried before. Did they move the Prime subscription button on, on Twitch? So I would say if you're asking if Twitch did a thing that changed their stuff, the answer is yes. <laughs> because it's constantly in motion, moving things around that I can't find. So, yeah. 
they hid it probably because they don't want you to use the primes maybe. I don't know. All right, so I'm curious real quick. So this one's not a sticker. So this is a full wrap from like here to here. It's like that long. You can see right here where the translucency comes in. This is a full barrel wrap, so I can't remove that sticker, which is fine. So this is... Boy, they're going to make me like frictions, aren't they? This is a little bit darker blue-black than I recall them being. It's a really nice color. <clears throat> Pretty good erasing. <clears throat> Do it, get an X-Acto knife off there. Yeah, I could get the wrap off of there. Jason, I had no idea. This is really good. We will keep releasing friction, releasing frictions until the Panatic podcast relents. I love frictions. I do not use frictions, right? There's a big difference. Evan Max, fifty-five months of subbing. Evan, how was Baltimore? And this is a this is like a real point four line. Like this is. This is good. I'm gonna keep this handy. You love all the things come on? <sighs> You're not wrong. It is a 0.4. Then I'm about to test out a 0.3 juice up. So non non friction ink. Because you don't have a rocket book, that's why. That's true. A rocket book would probably change everything. I mean, that's what makes it work, right? That's really what makes it work. Baltimore is great. Got a few pins for me. Sold a ton of stuff to other people. Love it. So this is the Juice Up. Um, which is Pilot's Gel Ink pin. Um, and th they're really good. Like I, I usually get these over the G2s. Oh, Slumberland Studio. Have fun. That should be great. Um... These are the refills I gen generally prefer over the G2s because you can get more colors and more um, tip sizes. So this is, oh wow, wow, that's right so well. I might have to review this. I wasn't aware that there was a 0.3 juice up their orange is really nice i like the juice a lot those go in almost all my tactile turn, turn pins that's exactly what i do i get the 0.4 blue black juice or is it 0.5 i think it's 0.4 i get the 0.4 blue black juice not the juice up um so the juice up has the needle tip and there were um, the different barrel styles. The standard juice is a conical tip. I find the 0.3 juice ups a little scratchy with feedback. Yeah, they could be. But the line, I don't know. This feels pretty good. Like I'm not really getting any scratchy, scratchy vibes from this. I'm very much liking these. So yeah. So I should also, um, so I wonder, I think about this sometimes because I'm the way that I am. You think Pilot just secretly puts in friction uh, ink in some of their other pens? We're about to find out. Nope. <laughs> I was curious because like if I saw this ink color, I'd like, I'd be pretty happy with this as a blue black and not, uh, not with the caveat that, oh, by the way, it's an erasable ink. It's just a good ink, right? So it does not. It does not. All right. So they also sent me a label maker, uh, which we're going to test out real quick. This could come in real handy at the desk here. I have a label maker out in the shipping department because I use that for a lot of the spoke stuff. Um, 
let's 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 play with this real quick. Let me do a um. Oh, I don't know what you're talking about here. I had a short chat with Barbara at the BWI about the DC. Show. Okay, um, Barbara who runs the um the DC show. She confirmed there's an agreement in place keeping them there for now, but she's looking at the alternate venue option and was very open to the suggestion of the Marriott Convention Center in Rockville, which I think would be a much better fit for the show. So that was exciting. Interesting. Have you seen the knitted nettle ink yet? I think so. Did someone share that with me last week? Maybe. How was your show, Bart? Did you 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 were in Baltimore? How was how was uh how was your show? <clears throat> um all right i'm gonna open this but let me do this first let me do a giveaway um and then i will um i will i will open this up and we'll play with it the existing dt hotel showroom is just too small they've definitely maxed it out <clears throat> all right let me set all this to the side <clears throat> It's a green. That's all I know. Um, I think I have... Yeah, let's do a chaos giveaway. Oh, wow. The ice box of happiness was pre-opened. What does that mean? It was good. We were a late addition in a back room off the path, but it was still a great show. Yes, so Brooks was talking about that. That... Um, How they needed some better signage for the um, for the back rooms. I think I'm talking about bags at DC again this year. Nice. <clears throat> They're reducing number of tables in maker room at DC. That's good. Fewer tables for fewer vendors. Yeah, true. Okay, so chaos giveaway. Our friend Jesse sent me a box full of pre-wrapped hidden stationery. And with some very cool washi tape. I love this washi tape. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to do this giveaway. I'm going to step away, get some more water, go to the restroom. I come back. We'll do this giveaway winner. And then we'll open up the label printer and uh, mess around with that. See what it, see what we got here. <clears throat> All right. Let's. All right, so we're going to do... Oh, um, last week's winners, all of that is shipped as of yesterday. So I did get that done uh, this weekend or yesterday, whatever. Whatever today is. All right, chaos. All right, this giveaway is open. Exclamation point raffle is all you need to type to enter. Anyone can enter. Anyone can win. You don't have to be a follower, member, subscriber. You don't have to live in the United States. I ship worldwide. Let's go. All right, I'll see you in just a minute. I'm going to go get some water and go to the restroom real quick.
All right, we back. <clears throat> Y'all got about 40 seconds left. Chair should have been the entry to raffle. True. SF needs to leave, limit the number of tables to make room for people. Did not like it last year. Too crowded. Yeah. Like, it's, uh, yeah, it's a dilemma. Like, and that's not an easy problem to fix. I mean, yes, it's an easy problem to fix, but, like, when you start, I'm thinking of it more of a venue, new venue type of thing. Mimo, seven months of seven, let's go. <laughs> Sorry they moved the buttons around on y'all. Shocking. Shocking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yes, it's it's literally easy to fix, but but to fix it long term, like, yeah, they gotta that's something to work on separately. <clears throat> is it a notebook, a pack of pencil pencils, sticky notes, a very wide carpenter's pencil? Ooh, that'd be cool if it's a very wide carpenter's pencil. We may never know. All right, let's pick a winner. Jason Orth won. Jason, you win. Have you, excuse me, have you ever actually won here? Are you a first time winner or have you won before? I can't recall. We have so many winners now, I just can't remember. <clears throat> first timer, that's what I was thinking. Congratulations. So, follow the details there. Email me your shipping address, hello at penonic.com. Tell me you won the chaos giveaway. Tell me your Twitch handle. Got it. Hello, Zane's dad. How are you? Y'all must have had an Orlando uh, pin club meetup recently. Because I got several Slack... Uh, Slack invites. Hey, I was at the Orlando Pin Club meet. They said, they said email you. It's like, yeah, sweet. <clears throat> All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, it's from the phone. Smartphone. Oh, this is trouble. This is trouble. Oh, yeah. All right, let's do this. Let's see what we got here. <clears throat> Having one on the 17th. Nice. All right, so these are our tape choices. And this is our little label printer. <clears throat> this could be fun. Label makers make me ridiculously happy. Watching this might cause trouble for my wallet. If I can do this from my phone. We'll see. I don't know if we'll be able to do it today, like if it needs charging or whatever, but we'll give it a shot. <clears throat> A few members asked about this pin addict guy. <laughs> He's questionable. Watch out for him. You print your pics a lot. Oh my, oh, you can print emojis and stuff on there too. Oh, this is, mm. this is bad. This is bad. Oh, I was looking for the destructions. <clears throat> pin addict guy sounds terrible. I mean, likes questionable washi he uh <clears throat> is that him you may never know chat you may never know <laughs> it's very questionable <clears throat> all right let me pose a question to chat and this is a life question are you an instruction reader and follower or not 
Do you go with the instructions and do what the instructions say? Or do you just wing it and try to figure it out yourself? Read instructions, rarely look at instructions. See, this is a good, this is a very good, very good question. Dive right in, instructions, yes, no. <laughs> wing it, yep, all instinct, see? Unfortunately for y'all right now, I'm an instruction reader. <laughs> so we have to do, we have to follow the instructions. <laughs> this is a great question. He runs an internet cult about pins. <laughs> that's true. What is, for things with few buttons where I don't know whether it's short press or long press, wink at it, yeah. My day job is writing them, so Jason would prefer that we read them. Actually, Jason probably doesn't care as long as he can keep writing them. Throw away the instructions and leave the stickers on. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. Name and we're not going to do this because this will be like terrible stream, but let me. Um, oh, yeah, I got to go get batteries. We might we might save this to, to, till tomorrow. Let me get it set up um, just so we can figure it out because this would be like a slow, boring stream. Um, I got to get I got to go find batteries, get the tape installed. All right. So I will get this set up before stream tomorrow. How about that? That would be easier. Then we can play it. Then we can play around with it tomorrow. But uh, it's very small and simple. Um, it's got a good cut. Good, a good, what is it called? Tepra Light Smartphone Label Printer. <laughs> yeah, do we... See, I'm concerned that it's Bluetooth, but I don't have any lights on it. Maybe there's like a, like a, glow, like a light you can't see like under the, under the frame here. So, all right. I, just because I think this will be just like terribly boring and frustrating and annoying. Um, yes, yeah, slow and boring is the digital. The analog stuff we just dive right into. The analog stuff is very easy to dive into, Chad. This is a very, um, this is a very telling stream segment in that I want to stop messing with the digital stuff <clears throat> and nothing has ever stopped me from playing with the analog stuff, right? Maybe for you, funny for us, right? Exactly. Yeah, like I have washi tape ready for repairs if needed, right? So, so let's hold on this. <coughs> Excuse me, I didn't. I didn't have time to mute that one. All right, we're gonna hold on this. We will hold. Um, yeah, and I'll play around with this later, and we'll. We'll print some out tomorrow. That'll be cool. It'll be cool. Even though I just got the um, some giveaway stickers. It'll be cool if I could print the giveaway person's. Um, oh, God, headache. It'd be cool if I could print the giveaway winner's uh, name. Because I always, always stick it on there, right? Like this. <clears throat> okay, let me scooch some of this stuff out of the way. So I can get back to my keyboard. Um, I th okay. I think we're gonna need to stop here in a second. I think what I'll do is let's do one more giveaway real quick, and then I'm like, I'm hitting a wall with uh, the allergy stuff. So that's another reason I don't want to mess around with it. Just be, I will be annoyed. <clears throat> Maybe it's that um. Maybe it's the desk mat that gave me a headache now. What do you think? I know. Like, I can't use it all the time. Maybe I will stick it on there and then still put a questionable washi on it. All right. Let's do one more giveaway because y'all have had to put up with me. Um, wow. Okay. <laughs> and then we'll, uh, we'll come back tomorrow and mess with that stuff. Um, all the meta social media apps are down. Interesting. Is Kaveco Apricot Pearl as nice in person as it in photos? I don't know yet. Mine's on pre-order. So I'll be getting it. Yeah, I'm having some really bad head, head stuff. Let's do a giveaway though. 
Because why not? Let's do... Let's do a Pinatic Notebook. And one of the... I'll let you pick one of the nib washies that uh, Enigma sent me. I'll let you pick the color, so let me show you. Um, so we're going to give away one of these rare, exclusive sketchbooks that I made years ago that are just super rad. And then I'll let you pick either the burgundy or the teal uh, nib washi for that. Any spoke restocks coming soon? Maybe a pin model too? Um, I'm getting a restock today. I just don't know what's in it. So that's as good as I have for you. <clears throat> All right. Ooh. Oh, you know what collaboration I need to do? I will test. Like, I'm going to go chill after this. Like, I'm I'm not doing good right now. <clears throat> All right. This giveaway is open. Exclamation point raffle. Anyone can enter. Anyone can win. You don't have to be a follower, member, subscriber. And I ship worldwide. I had someone chat. Like, this is the internet for you, right? And I've learned, like, over the years, I don't like, I don't get into it too much. But someone on one of my, uh, the weekly pin attic raffles, on the giveaway winner post Saturday, they said, why do you only pick U.S. winners? And I was like, how do you know people's addresses? <laughs> it's like, it's like literally, how do you know people's addresses? And then I did reply. Two of two two of the last four winners have been Spain and uh, Israel. But I thought I was just like that is so random. Like, why do you only pick U.S. winners? Like, literally, how do you know? <laughs> because their name. You're assuming because of their name. Karen B, fifty one months a sub, and let's go. I actually replied smart alecky on that one. I was pretty happy with that. I was like, oh, you know everyone's address. I think is what I said. <clears throat> But yeah, we've shipped like we've shipped to Spain and Israel literally like in the past few weeks. It's like, but you do you, boss. You do you. Just like the sniffy sniffles people we're gonna get on YouTube from this video. Ooh, it's gonna be on Banhammer City. I like banning people. I like blocking people on YouTube because I don't care. I'm just like, click. <laughs> Sassy prance, Brad. I try not to be like super smart alecky. It's like when people say just like seven <clears throat> uh, weird things. Zane, you missed it. Complete. We have completed the task successfully. Antarctica in the house. Thank you, Thule. Yep, just posted this this morning. Um, got there, I don't know, probably if I get in the last month or so. So we've done it. Oh, yeah. Internet a haters don't bother me, right? Like, that's something I just go. <laughs> it's like, okay. Naper villain. Yeah, they're usually just like anonymous counts. They'll say like user 2683954. Why do you sniffle so much? <laughs> Panatic Worldwide. Mr. Worldwide, like we had that conversation last week. How does banning work on YouTube? I just, there's like a button that says, I think is it called block? I don't know. It's like block from your content or something. I, yeah, I'm not totally sure. I just like smashing that button. I know, I figured out your trolls accounts, y'all trolls accounts. They start with user and then a number. <clears throat> All right, let's do this giveaway. Then I'm going to go chill. <clears throat> All right, the winner is Crash Fuzzy. Hey, both the winners today had a number one in their name, chat. Is that a sign that y'all need to change your names 
to have a one in your name. So we had Jason Orth one, and now we have Crash One Fuzzy. Crash One Fuzzy, are you here? Have you won before? Maybe? I feel like maybe you've won before. Why do you only pick winners with one in their name, right? Because it's all rigged, Junio, don't you know? Only winners in the US, only names with the one in it. Second win, see, look at me, I remembered. I remembered. <clears throat> Only winners. So Junio has literally never won anything until they moved to Scotland. And then they win. But I don't. Only U.S. winners only. All right, Crash Fuzzy. <clears throat> Email me. <laughs> this cheese crap. Um, email me hello at panic.com. Tell me your shipping address. Tell me your Twitch handle, Crash One Fuzzy, and tell me that you won the uh, Kakuyo sketch. Oh, Crash, 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 Crash. Which color uh, washi do you want? So we have teal and silver, or we have like burgundy and gold. Pick one of these. Scotland is which U.S. state? It's a good question. It's probably Florida. Sorry, Junior. Burgundy, yours. All right, we'll say we'll give this one away uh, another time. <clears throat> oh, you know what? Glyph has a number in his thing too. <clears throat> the green matches the notebook better. See, I think the burgundy matches the notebook better with the gold. I would have picked this one for a match. I think these colors are too far off. I totally like the burgundy one. Was what I would have picked. <clears throat> All right, crash. Let's see here. I need to tape this down somehow. <laughs> I was just kidding. I was just starting trouble. Scotland's probably like Wisconsin. Good beer, cold, interesting weather, except for one month out of the year, interesting dialects. I think Wisconsin is the, uh, I think Wisconsin is the, uh, is the Scotland of the United States. <clears throat> Any spoke updates soon? I'm actually getting a, a package of goods from Brian, but we don't have our click pin ready. Um, the click's going to be the next thing. We're probably a month, month away. I don't know. I mean, they have good beer too, Galstaff. But yes, yeah, Scotch. I don't know if I don't know if Wisconsin's got like good whiskeys. They probably do. <clears throat> All right, chat. I love you. I wish I could continue streaming today, but I am, I am hurting. I am hurting. Um, and I think we're just gonna bail today. Um. No raid. So tomorrow we're going to podcast 10 a.m. stream. We'll see. I'll get the uh, see if I get the label maker going. We'll stream tomorrow. Stream Thursday. Regular week. Hopefully I feel better tomorrow. This started yesterday. So hopefully we're going to be done here in like a day or two. So this was how my all day yesterday went worse today. So hopefully we're at the worst right now. So yeah, enjoy that Benadryl nap. If I didn't have so much to do this afternoon, running around, I would be on that already, but I took Claritin, so I'm going the opposite direction, <clears throat> so love you guys, really appreciate you being here, um, yeah, we'll get back after it tomorrow, more fun stationary stuff to talk about, and uh, I really appreciate y'all, so thanks so much, we'll talk to you later, bye.